Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Here we are again. I hope everyone is doing okay. It's getting festive at my house. So today I was shopping a lot, like all the rest of the ladies out there. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to make a little meal, a cheap little meal. I like to include the meals, but I was sidetracked. So um, what I do is I will buy uh, two pound bags of uh, fries at Dollar Tree and then I can use my stockpile up and so I've been making stuff. So the first thing I made was a little batch of french fries from Dollar Tree. Then I made a little batch of hamburger and I and I put some dehydrated um, onions that I just dehydrated into my ha hamburger. I bought the hamburger at ninety nine cent only. Then I have some. Where do I do with that stuff? Here it is. Some uh, hot dog sauce. Now they say, I bought this for 50 cents. They say a serving size is one tablespoon. <laughs> That's a small serving size, you guys. Uh, this came off of one time on the way home. I was at my ex-husband's. I used to work over there by where he lived and you know, I'd stop by once in a while. So I, I stopped by Del Taco and I got one of their chili fries. So, so far this is really cheap. And then I have a little Dollar Cheese, Dollar Tree cheese. And I have some tomatoes. And I, I diced some onions. I will freeze these onions. So this is a cost-effective meal. Very cost-effective. I should have brought a, a towel. Okay, so life is good. Here is dinner. So this is a cheap dinner. I'm gonna be making, I, I think I'm gonna start my videos with the cheap meals. Okay, this, this um, video, aside from my cheap meal, is how I buy $1,000 uh, Christmas presents for $300. I've been doing this for years, and if you guys have been following me, you remember this. What you have to do is you have to find your stuff 70 to 80% off. So what I do, it, now this is not that easy, but it can be done, and then you know when you have $1,000 worth of Christmas presents, then you know life is good. But getting the, the $1,000 worth of Christmas presents for $300 is a little bit labor intensive. I have some Diet Coke. Here is what I do. Okay, we have four Walmarts. So say I wanna buy a bed in the bag. I shop at all the Walmarts the Pennies, the Macy's, and the uh, Kmart before buying. And a lot of times I'll save 20 or $30 easily. Same thing with towels, same thing with washcloths, and I will get the best deal, and I will get the best colors, and I will get the biggest towels for the dollar. And then, so then, okay, first I start like at Walmart, then I go to uh, uh, Big Lots. One year I bought, I was buying carpets one year. Carpets this, carpets that. And uh, I went to uh, Big Lots and I got my son some really nice carpets. He still has one. And I got a really cheap, right before Christmas, really nice ones, all my favorite colors. Then, okay, then I go to Macy's. Now Macy's always has 70 and 80% off. I buy a lot of nice stuff at Christmas time. Uh, if you go to my Instagram, Rhoda Stone Instagram, 
You'll see a Pulsar watch I bought my son, and you'll see a Seiko watch I bought my son, and I bought them both dirt cheap. Then I go to outlet centers like Viejas, and there's a couple I go to, and you'd be surprised at the stuff I pick off. Okay, how I earn now, how I earn $300 by investing $10. You might go, well, it's impossible. No, it's not. Okay, let's take the wedding dress. Okay, if you want to see the wedding dress, the superhero jacket, and one of the navy pins I sold, go to my Instagram. Let's just take the, the wedding dress, okay? Let's say I bought the wedding dress for $10. I don't know how much I paid for the wedding dress. I forgot. I bought it a long time ago. It was really pretty. Uh, I actually have quite a few, and they're not easy to find, but I find them the same way, you know, I find the $300, $3,000 Christmas for $300. I search around, and I find stuff. So I took a bid on the wedding dress for uh, $90, which was dirt cheap. And so then, um, so now I have my $90. I have, I had a ten, a ten dollar item I sold for $90. This superhero jacket was a hundred dollar item, but I took a bid on it for $45. What I do is I can take a bid as long as I double my money. I don't consider doubling my money, see if I been spend $10 to get $20. No, I want my $10 back and then I want $20. So I want $30 for every 10. So now on the wedding dress now, you know, I saw my wedding dress. So now I'm looking either for nice jackets. I need to find three to replace my $100 item that I sold and I, and I will make $300 on a $10 investment. It's not that hard. It can be done. Go to my Instagram. Okay, now I want to talk about the food a little bit. Okay, this is a food plan, and this is a good food plan that Todd Tepper uh, sent, and I wrote it in my notebook. But the thing about it is, your protein is peanut butter, eggs, and tuna. Okay, this one, I have been getting tuna that is vile, so I don't wanna rely on tuna for my protein. And then eggs are good. I would buy 60 at the beginning of the month. I thought that was such a good, good uh, comment by Henzo. Hi, Henzo! I hear Henzo is buying fries at Aldi's. Now, here is my, my $15 uh, meal plan. Herring, the big one at Dollar Tree. Sardines, a big 8-ounce can. Turkey bacon pork sausage, hot dogs, these are dollar items, cheese, eggs, and two shelf-stable milk. So you see mine is high on um, protein because I don't want to be starving out. And then for the bread, I had a four-pack of bagels and a loaf of bread and a package of crackers. So basically, I would have meat and bread with a few vegetables. That was my idea. Um, you guys, go to one of the ladies that I follow. It's called Disabled Prepper. And check out her video today because she has a video on what she got at the food bank. And I want to encourage you guys to go to the food bank if you need food. Okay, now, I want to show you something. Today, I was at the 99 cent store. And these are $1 packages of milk, 14 of them. That is enough for 28 days of milk. I like the $1, I bought all they had. I think this is why a lot of, of uh, stuff is gone because people are hoarding. Then I bought this package of oatmeal. Oatmeal with no milk, forget it. Uh, this is, I got this at... Uh, 50 cents cocoa and sea salt I'll eat it I do my um, my my um, cereal eating in the middle of the night because I'm an insomniac 
And then I still have my pie left that I bought marked down. This was a good pie. I bought this at Walmart. And I will eat it. Okay, now. Now, now, now. Oh, look, here's one of my handcrafted bracelets. I love this bracelet. Okay, now. The thing that I did yesterday was um, taxation on beef. But the, the thing that is significant about the taxation on beef is the taxation is supposed to slow the consumption. If that doesn't work, then comes rationing, food rationing. Can that ever happen? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> but you never know. Okay, so that's what is, uh, that is the thing about the taxi. It's supposed to slow the consumption. Okay, so now I'm thinking a good thing might be to, to go heavy on soup and stew. Um, you know, like big pots. And then I'm thinking about uh, this um, taxing of processed food. So maybe we want to move away from that to eggs, chicken, nuts, seeds, peas, corn. I'm going to um, canned soup and uh, canned meals because I don't want to starve out. Okay, so now, today, I was at the thrift store. Let me check and see if my camera is still going. The problem child. <laughs> I bought this. I got this at the library for $2. Can it? And I'm going to try to can. And so the other thing I want to do is I want to grow food. Okay, I successfully grew tomatoes. So what I did today is I went to Albertsons. What did I do with the receipt? And I bought, um, here's the hamburger I used. I like this hamburger, 11520. It's good for a long time. It'll be good in my good because I'm going to eat it. Okay, so I bought two things. I bought an organic onion and I bought an organic tomato, a big one. That's it. But what I did is I just took some seeds out and I put them in some dirt and I took my onion tops out and I put them in some dirt and I'll cover them with more dirt and underneath, I put this plant food. And I thought, you know, I was reading that um, farmers got into hot water with the seed companies because they weren't purchasing the seeds. They were just using their plants to, um, to get the seeds, which indicates that's possible. I really thought that all the seeds were pretty much terminator seeds. So I'm trying to grow some seeds. And then... I dehydrated in my oven, I hope you guys can see this, some onion and some uh, tomato. And then I bought some uh, of these, it may not be a perfect application, but I bought some hefty bags and I will put those in the freezer and I will put these in the freezer. So, okay, so now the organic tomato and onion cost me $3.48. So that was high. But if I generate good seeds and I generate, I have some um, in my um, hamburger, I have some of my dehydrated onions. And so I will be um, dehydrating all kinds of stuff. And I will show you the stuff that I dehydrate when I uh, dehydrated. Let me see if there's anything I'm forgetting. So if you can possibly start trying to grow some food indoors, I think that's a very good thing to do. I'm growing mine outdoors because I live in Southern California and it's not that cold yet. And um, I, I'm looking around for uh, good deals on oil. I think I saw the deal at Costco, but this was pretty good at 99 cent only. Uh, check out that uh, video on uh, disabled and prepping. I will try to remember to put it on my Twitter. And uh, start trying to figure this kind of stuff out. Here is mine. 
Uh, I did mine with the idea of going to the food bank. But, you know, I can see a lot of sense in, in this one. So what I'm going to be doing is doing one of these as well. So what I, you know, so I'm eating my stockpile down. So um, bread, I will buy. Peanut butter, I have. Bananas, I will buy. Potatoes, I will buy. Frozen vegetables and fruit or canned, I will buy. Pasta is good forever. But, you know, pasta with no cheese, that's a bummer. Eggs, I will buy. Oatmeal, I will buy. Tuna, eh, no. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for the comments on the uh, premieres, and God bless you all.